Hey, thanks for clicking on my video. Seb Heslo here, and today I'm gonna show you how to mine both Ravencoin and Ethereum on the same mining rig. But before we do that, I'm gonna have to make a mining rig first, right? So let's start out. All right, so I got all we need here to get started. We got the mining motherboard, uh, got a, uh, <laughs> a CPU, got RAM, got a CPU cooler, got SSD, power supply, and then, well, of course, we also have some GPUs, but more on that later. And yeah, let's, uh, let's build a mining rig, shall we? So the base of the mining rig is finished. Got the motherboard with the CPU and RAM and all that set up and we got Windows installed. So now, as promised, let's talk about the GPU. So first of all, we have this old 1066 gig that's gonna go in there. It's been out of commission for a while because it's had a broken fan, but we fixed that now. So that's gonna go in there, I guess, but that's that's less fun. So let's talk about the, the more exciting GPUs here. So as you guys know, I have this Raven coin rig that we built with the 43060s, but as we've grown and gotten more GPUs recently, um, we've sort of had to make this <laughs> secondary island for this rig here. So we have these GPUs here that are like plugged into this motherboard just so that we could like have them up and mining and not you you know just lying here wasting wasting hash power, right? Um, so we've got the twin. 3070s MSI Supreme X, except as you know, one is LHR and one isn't. And then we have the 3070 Ti. And so, as you can tell, there's a gap here because there used to be another 3070 full hash rate in here, but that GPU is uh, still secret. Uh, it's gonna be unveiled in a project I got coming up soon on the channel, so stay tuned for that. But as for now, we're gonna put these four just imagine another GPU here with those four and the 1060 into this new rig we're building here. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get all of the GPUs installed, shall we? Now let's turn it on and see if it works. All 
All right, all four cards spinning, so that's a good sign. And we're posting. Cool, I'll check back with you when we're in Windows. All right, all four GPUs are showing up in our device manager. So now I'm just gonna plug in our fifth and final GPU, which is the secret one. And yeah, then uh, let's talk about how to mine multiple coins on the same uh, mining rig. All right, so the rig is all done and set up with all five GPUs. And first of all, I want to know, what do you think the 3070 is, the secret one that I've got in here? So I'll give you two hints. Well, the first one is it's obviously a 3070, like I said. And the second hint is it's by Asus. So let me know what you think it is down in the comments below. Uh, give me your best guesses. And secondly, you might be wondering, why am I using one of these like pre-made uh, like 12 GPU mining frames because some of you who have been with the channel for a while you know that I usually design and build my mining frames like from scratch and I even have a PDF guide on how to do that and I mean that will also be down below in the description and I mean the short answer is this was actually another gift from Red Panda Mining so thank you so much Red Panda for this mining frame uh, I got it a few days after I did that whole unboxing video of all the stuff he sent me and I'm obviously going to use this. I mean, it's, it's really cool. However, I do think I still like the ones I design myself a little bit more. But I mean, maybe, maybe I'm a little bit biased there, but yeah. This looks really slick though. All right, but enough waffling. Let's, uh, let's get into the setup for how to mine multiple coins on the same mining rig. All right, so let's get down to the actual meat and potatoes of this video, right? <laughs> so. I'm going to show you two different things uh, right now and the first one is if you want to mine two different coins on different GPUs so let's say which is you know my case here I have a uh, two LHR card a 3070 Ti and a 3070 LHR and I want to mine Ravencoin on those and then I have two regular 3070s and one 1060 and I want to mine Ethereum on those so I'm going to show you how to do that and then I'm also going to show you how to do time schedules basically so let's say you want to mine Ravencoin during night when for some people electricity is cheaper because Ravencoin uses more electricity and then mine ethereum during the day or you know Ravencoin during night to warm your house up during the night because Ravencoin produces a lot more heat than ethereum does for example so those are the two things mining different coins on different gpus and mining different coins during different times of day basically on different schedules so let's get right into it shall we so the first thing that i'm going to show you is how to mine different coins on different gpus because that is very simple actually so this is going to be how to do it in windows but i'm sure it's fairly similar to do it in hive os or any other operating system so basically all you need to do to mine different coins on different gpus um, in windows i'm going to use t-rex miner as an example here is you just run two batch files at the same time and you in each of these batch files you pick which gpus to run so basically i would run one ethereum batch file and one Ravencoin batch file so and then in these batch files I'll just pick which GPUs to turn on basically and so how to do that in T-Rex and it's very similar in all other miners as well all right so I got my two batch files up here the one for Ethereum up here and the one for Ravencoin down here so as you can see I'm just picking which devi devices aka GPUs that I'm going to use for each coin so on Ravencoin, I'm using device number zero and number one. And for Ethereum, I'm using device two, three, and four. And so these device numbers, they correspond with the order in which T-Rex lists the GPUs when you run T-Rex um, or whatever miner you're using. So let me show you what I mean. All right, so I just ran one of the preset batch files that come with T-Rex here. And just to show you what I mean with like the order of GPUs. So you can see here how GPU zero is the 3070Ti. And then I got my three 3070s here, starting with the two MSI ones and then the secret Asus one. And then finally I got my 1060. So that you can see here is like the GPU one, zero, one, two, three, and four. Like those numbers are what corresponds with like 
picking the device numbers in your batch files basically. So since I want my 3070 Ti and my first 3070 which you can see here is the LHR one because it's getting a lot lower hash rate than the two following ones. I want those two to mine Ravencoin which is why in my batch file I said devices 0 and 1 in the Ravencoin batch file and then devices 2, 3 and 4 in the Ethereum batch file. Cool? Simple enough? And so then to actually start it I just run both batch files at the same time and it really is that simple. Let me just show you. So, so I can just select both of them like that run as admin. All right, and here you can see we're mining Ethereum on our three GPUs and Ravencoin on our two GPUs at the same time. Pretty cool. But that is only half of what I wanted to show you today. I also wanted to show you how to mine, you know, on a schedule, like I said. So let's look into that, shall we? And for that, we're gonna use good old task scheduler. So I actually have a tutorial on using task scheduler to auto start your miner as soon as your computer starts up. And the advantage by doing it with task scheduler is that you can actually run your miner with admin privileges, which means you can put your overclocks right into your batch file and you don't have to like run MSI Afterburner at the same time, which is cool and my preferred way of overclocking, uh, just because it's more stable, less crashes. So let's open up task scheduler and you can see in here I've already made a folder and I've got my T-Rex Ethereum here and my T-Rex Ravencoin. So these two current tasks I have in here, they're used to say to run, you know, both of those batch files as soon as my computer starts up. But what we want to do now is not that. We want to tell it to run the Ethereum one and the Ravencoin one on a schedule. So let's just pretend I don't have these two and I'm going to make a new folder here called mining schedule let's call it right so in here I am going to create task and I'm gonna call this one t-rex ETH let's call it and first and foremost check the run with highest privileges that means run as admin basically and you also want to configure for Windows 10 I don't know why you wouldn't do that and then let's go to actions hit new and the action we want is already here which is start a program and then I'm gonna click browse and I'm just going to select the batch file that we want to run so that's our ethereum one because this is our task for mining ethereum so I'm gonna open that one and I'm gonna hit ok so now our action is to start our Ethereum mining batch file basically. But now we want to put in a trigger. So a trigger is basically what starts our Ethereum mining uh, task, right? Our Ethereum mining batch file. So I'm going to click new trigger here. And here we have some options for when to begin the task. So we got on a schedule, at logon, startup, blah, 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 right? But so we want to say on a schedule. And here you can basically say however you want it to work, right? But so what I'm gonna say is just run this daily. So reoccur every one day and start on whatever date you're on or whatever date you want it to start. And I'm just gonna say start this at 9 a.m. every day, right? And so the simplest way of stopping it is to just check here. Stop task if it runs longer than and then just select however long you want. So I'm gonna say 12 hours and then I'm gonna hit OK. And then I'm just gonna hit OK again. And now we got our like Ethereum mining task here. And then I'm just going to do another task. Same thing, run with high, highest privileges, Windows 10, actions, and I'm going to select start a program and I'm going to select our Ravencoin batch file instead like that I forgot to name it so let's call this T-Rex Raven and then as for our trigger here again I'm just gonna say daily and now I'm going to say 9 p.m. every day and then stop this task after it's run for 12 hours so there you go now I got Raven coin mining between 9 p.m. to 9 a.m. and I've got ethereum mining from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. so Ravencoin during the night, Ethereum during the day. Hit OK. 
And now we got our schedule going. It doesn't have to be more complicated than that. But now I'm going to delete those because that's not what I want. So there you have it, how to mine multiple coins on the same mining rig. If this video has been helpful to you, then please give it one of these, I'd really appreciate it. And what you gotta do now is you gotta click on that next video on the screen, because this video is over. You can also click the picture of my face to subscribe to the channel, I'd really appreciate that. But yeah, go click on that next video, and I'll see you there. Goodbye, bye bye.